Okay, now they're able to hear us. Sweet, man. All right. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm going to start off. My name's Christian, guys. Uh, we'd really like to get a new journey going. Uh, we're going to be vlogging, doing podcasts about a whole different, a uh, bunch of different stuff. Um, we'd really like to, to, I don't know what that word is. What's that word? Like, uh, our big, our big thing would like to be about, you know, um, putting efforts into making positive changes yeah. and uh, bettering our community and one another as well. We're basically on a mission to, to save the earth. <laughs> so, how did you want to go ahead and start that idea about the whole shirts? Well, I like to. Uh, I think that what we should do is just put the shirts in, you know, a little bit later and just. Just says something that we can connect with our audience with, you know. Right. That right. they can have something that they feel like they're a part of something, something bigger, you know, than just uh, individual. More like a, a group effort. Whoever this reaches, whoever we can reach out to, which we're hoping that this reaches a good audience because, uh, as we were saying, uh, we really want to do a lot of positive things, and so this is new for us. So we apologize ahead. If, uh, you know, we don't sound experienced, but we'll get there. Yeah, we'll get there. We'll Eventually, get there. yeah, we got everything going on. Yeah. Uh, locally, we're trying locally. to start that, our community. Yeah. Our, what, what did we call it? Happy Life Solutions? Oh, yeah, Happy Life Solutions. And that's really just another piece of the puzzle. But uh, I think that this is going to be good, man. It's a good journey. Uh, the more we learn about it, practice it, we'll get good at it, man. I don't necessarily want to describe the logo just yet. I yeah. don't want to do that for it. Yeah. Until we, we get it on our website and yeah. get it everywhere we need to get. Yeah. Um, we still have a, we actually still have to come up with a name for the shirts. So, uh, what the shirts are going to be about is basically uh, just one thing that uh, I looked into, man, is. And I know that I deal with it on a daily. I'm sure, I don't know if you do, but I know that there's a lot of people out there dealing with this kind of stuff. And uh, that's uh, mental awareness, man. Um, and that's really what I wanna, wanna bring out is mental awareness and just see how we can. Uh, I don't think these mics are going. I think it's all coming from the mic from here. Is it on? Check, check. Is it on though? What? Yeah, it's on. Yeah, it doesn't turn off. It stays on. Well, just for backup purposes. We'll bust out the phones. Check, 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 check. So, with this shirt idea, man, that we have, uh, like I said, we're really trying to we're trying to focus on mental awareness, and that's what these shirts are. That's what we want to design these shirts to do is to promote positive, positive uh, mental health and yeah. all building one another. And so we're gonna be working on those in the meantime. But uh, we're gonna we'd like to start off with just doing vlogs and uh, challenging our viewers mm -hmm. to uh, bring about positive changes to one another, to themselves, and uh, to the community and to the earth, man. We know that the earth's dying. Uh, and I feel like, you know, this is really something positive that we can do. So it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Um, I think maybe tomorrow or as soon as we can, we're probably gonna go somewhere, like one of the hot, like one of the, like a local. Uh, said more like a, a location where we can kind of help out. Right. right, yeah, like uh, we'll be doing more our or local or... lake. Yeah. Our local lake, man, is it's a beautiful place. It's something that um, we don't we don't have much in this town, but our lake is something that really all of our all the people in our community love to go there. And uh, we're gonna just really try our best to inspire positive changes. Um, so we really hope that this gets to people out there, especially in our community. But, you know, the further it reaches, the even the better, man. Because uh, the world really needs a lot more of it. So. I also think we should sell overnight, because I don't think these mics are working. 
I got this rolling. Mm -hmm. For now. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, so, that's going to be something we're going to be doing for now. Uh, we're going to go to our lake maybe. and Well, we will. We're going to do it. We've already put our minds to this. And uh, so it's something we're going to do. Uh, so we're going to be working on that. We're going to go and uh, clean up a little bit. And hopefully whoever reaches this, hopefully it really reaches our community. That's really like our primary concern. But really, I guess anybody who's watching this, and we challenge you guys to, uh, you know, follow us on our journey and feel free to be a part of it. We'd be happy for that. That's what we're trying to do, is reach people. We're just trying to bring about... Tess. Yeah, this one works a lot better. You got it working? This one does, yeah. Yeah, let me see. So this is yeah. our first podcast. And Hello? Really that's Hello? what we're going to be talking about. Is, uh, just uh, our plans and our goals, really. And like I said, our goals are really just to bring about positive changes. And one thing I'd really like to tackle is mental awareness, man. And, um, mm -hmm. and uh, promote positive mental awareness and a mental upbuilding. So that's like what we were talking about earlier. We're going to have this this line of shirts, t-shirts. They're not going to be pricey. They're going to be affordable. Right. We really want all our all of our viewers to to uh to be able to afford. Right. And to be a part of this journey with us. Um So we're going to our vlogs are mostly going to be us doing positive things for our community, for one another, for the earth. Just a bunch of positive positive stuff is what we're aiming for. And we're hoping that this really reaches our community. And maybe we can start something, a movement here. And even, man, the further it goes, the better, really. So, that's that, man. You got anything for us? Not necessarily, not yet. I'm sorry, I'm messing with this stuff right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind of pissed off this stuff's not working. Woo. <laughs> that was a close one. Yeah, man. Hey, soon, hopefully, we'll be able to have guests, all kinds of stuff. But like I said, this is our first podcast, our first vlog. And we're not going to be doing too much today, just discussing our future plans and our goals. Um, Josh, you got any future plans, man? Huh? Any future plans you got? Future plans I got, yeah. I plan to start doing more podcasts. Sweet. Sweet. Right. I do want to go through with the movement. Yeah. That's something I feel we got to do. Yeah. Have to. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, like, especially what you've been talking about when it comes to, what were you saying? How everything, you wanted to go somewhere, but it just wasn't going out the way it was anymore. Where was it? Um, the shirts or? The actual environment. Oh, man. Yeah. Um. Well, we, I'm sure that, I don't know, not a lot of people know that the earth is dying, man. And right. The oceans are filled with trash, dude. And it's kind of a touchy subject. Um, it's kind of, you know, so I think some people right, might right. think it's weird, but it's super important. Some people probably won't even believe it. Yeah, some people won't believe it, actually. And I've actually tried to tell a few people, man, and they don't believe me. And I'm like, yeah. dude, I'm trying to tell you the truth, man. Like, it's out there, dude. And all it takes is a little bit of research. But all it takes is for each individual to just put in a little bit of work, man. And I think that's why it starts with us. Mm -hmm. And maybe who knows how far this will go, dude. And hopefully it goes really far, man. Hopefully it touches a lot of people's hearts. Right, and, right, uh, right. Like I said, man, we're not really doing this for us, but we also, we are doing this for us because it helps us, man. It's going to help us to be better people. Mm -hmm. But also, man, um, we want to get the people involved, man. Like, uh, we can get people involved in our challenges, man. And I think it's going to really make people feel good about themselves. So when you say challenges, what kind of challenges? Um, one challenge I had is maybe like a two mile challenge. Mm -hmm. um, like you're talking about running? Yeah. Sprinting? And that's just one of the challenges. There's okay. going to be many different challenges. But right, right. Uh, one challenge is like a two mile challenge and just pushing ourselves. And like I said, it starts with us. We'll, we'd be happy to, you know, we're, we're going to be doing this. So we're hoping that, you know, our viewers follow along with us because we know it's going to promote a lot of positivity, a lot of positive uh, energy. Right. And it's going to make people feel good. And that's really what we want to do. How do you feel we should get started? Um, well, like I said, we're going to be vlogging, man, as we, we're doing that right now. This is just a start, but right. here soon we'll vlog ourselves. Dude, we're going to have these t-shirts coming out pretty soon. Mm -hmm. 
and we're gonna use that as a part of a, our marketing, man, to market this 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 amazing idea that we have um, to promote positivity, especially within our community. And mm -hmm. we're hoping that we're really hoping we can make a big change in our community. And who knows how far it might go? You know, we might end up really sparking something big. Yeah. And you never know, yeah. man. We might be at the town hall one day, and we might be getting nominated for something cool for for really doing something as citizens. Of so our I was watching something today, man. Um, it actually had Ellen DeGeneres and oh, it had yeah. uh, David Letterman. Okay. I don't know exactly what she's done, but she actually got one of like the highest medals a civilian can get. Oh wow! You know what I'm talking about? It was uh, what was it called? The Freedom Medal, I believe. Is and I was trying to read up on it. I wasn't really sure what you had to do, but I think she did a lot of like, I guess she did a lot of giving. You know what oh, I mean? Oh yeah. Kind of help helped out a lot. And, and on that subject, man, that's really another thing about this is just giving back, man. Yeah. Giving to our community, yeah. you know. And I think that would be really awesome, dude. And it's just going to be a lot of fun, man. Uh, it's going to be an, a challenge. We know mm -hmm. that it's going to be a challenge, man. Cause yeah. To be honest, I'm not going to lie about myself, dude. I This is my first time doing a vlog podcast, really. Uh, yeah. Another thing is, like, I haven't really challenged myself. Kind of start off at a rough start, <laughs> too. Yeah. Your mics <laughs> didn't want to work. <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah. Hey, but you know what, man? That's a part of it. I believe, yeah. you know, it's part of it, man. Things, things, some things are setbacks, but it's all about getting back up. And uh, I think this is going to help us out, but also help others. And that's what's going to be awesome about it, dude. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, dude, like you were saying, man, giving, man, that's, that's going to be awesome. Just being able to give and we're hoping others will join us. Mm -hmm. And honestly, it's going to make a lot of people feel good. And like I was saying earlier, man, mental awareness, dude, is big. It's something big right now, man. A lot of people are struggling you know, with mental illnesses or um, whatever it may be that's holding us back, man. Um, but I know that when you do something good for another person or for the community or for the earth, man, it's going to bring you good energy and you're going to feel good. So we know we're going to feel good, but we're hoping we can help others to feel good, too. Right. And that's really the whole point of this. So. And a lot of uh, something really good that kind of helps you out, too, is that pretty much just saying it will pretty much manifest yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Just and saying awesome. and doing it. You and know you know what what's mean? crazy, man? We're doing it, man. Yeah. And hey, we we said it, and now we're doing it. <laughs> we're doing it, it man. <laughs> we're really yeah. out here doing it, man. So it's really awesome, man. You know what? I feel good already. Yeah. But you know, we're not done yet. We have a lot of work to do. A lot of work. A lot of work. Yeah, we're just starting off. We're starting, but you know what, man? They say oftentimes the hardest thing to do is start. Yeah. I heard that from my boss a lot of times. Mm -hmm. you know, sometimes the, the hardest thing to do is to get started. But I'm glad we're here, and it seems like everything's falling into place somehow, right? It's mm -hmm. pretty cool. But, yeah, man, we're really hoping we can make a big change, man. And we want to start in our community, and hopefully you think we might we, we might be able to get to that tomorrow. Hopefully, or just sometime soon. But we'd like to start off with a, with uh, the vlogging, right? Yeah, vlogging and uh, just doing something good, you know, starting off. Yeah. But I think we should both decide what, you know what we should do first i would i would say i just let me contact this person that does the um what do you call it volunteering oh yeah yeah i want to contact this person because they do a lot of volunteering events right. i do know my work with blue cross blue shield they do a lot of volunteering events right. um if you'd like i can probably talk to someone i can try to get you into that too yeah definitely that'd be cool man you know if y'all have any good charities man that are is like because what i really like to do man is not too sure about the people. yeah. And uh, if anybody does come across this, and if you're from our hometown, we're from San Angelo, um, I, I, I'm not going to lie, I hate to put you on the spot. Next time I know, this is a lesson learned. What's up? Um, but uh, I'd really like to see if there's any elderly out there, dude, who I've been wanting to do this for a long time, dude. And I know I've talked about this with a few people. Mm -hmm. But... Uh, Maybe like one or two people. For you know, week. I've thought about something about elderly people too. I don't yeah. know. Just when I say, I'm like, oh, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? And it's like they lived their whole life. Yeah, man. And you know what? Uh, what I'd like to do is, if y'all know anybody, um, whoever sees this video or sees this vlog or whatever, hears this podcast. Yeah. Um, if y'all know anybody who's who has you know trouble getting around the house or uh, anything like that, uh, feel free to contact contact one of us, Josh or myself. Mm -hmm. Um. And we'd really love to help, whether it's cutting yards, cutting a yard for somebody. Um, at the same time, we do have, you know, we have our personal schedule. So we're, we'd like to start by going small and maybe just like one or two people for this week. 
But maybe just doing a, a yard for somebody, man. You know what I mean? Somebody that can't really do it themselves would be right, awesome. Yeah. And I think that'd be our first our first way to give back. And you know what? If if you come across this, then we challenge you to do the same. So. Yeah, that's a good way to start. Yeah. Yeah. If you've been thinking that you're trying to get something done, you're trying to do something good without anything in return. Yeah. Why not help somebody? Just exactly. doing something that you don't want to do. You know what I mean? Right. Exactly. Like, because I don't want to mow my yard, but it wouldn't hurt to mow someone else's just yeah. to help them out. Right. And you know what? That's also part of character building, man. We, we want to build ourselves up. And yeah. We want to become, you know, uh, we want to be good people, man. We want to be men uh, giving. We want to be yeah. generous. We want to we want to do those, those things, man. And I think this is going to help us to do that. But So that'd be a great start if... Uh, and you know what? If, if none of y'all have anybody, then we'll go out and find somebody. We'll go out and find somebody. So I think that's a good weekly goal. Uh, yeah. Help one person out. That's the first challenge. Yeah. Help one person out. Uh, and then uh, maybe taking them grocery shopping or whatever it may be, whatever the case. If y'all know anybody or whatever, uh, we'd really like to. We'd li really like to. We'd love to do that. And, now, uh, again, this is all in San Angelo, Texas. Right. Right, so, of course, this is going to be post globally, yes. but it's more for locally. For now. As of right now. For now. Yeah. Definitely for now, but we'd really like to, we'd really like to do a lot, you know, a lot of global work. Um, one day, if we'd ever have the chance, man, I'd really like to go to the ocean and, and have a share and clean up the ocean. We're not going to get it all done. Of course but, not, no. You know, little by little, and maybe we'll touch some hearts, man, and yeah. we'll get people on board. Mm -hmm. So think it'd be a great man and now it's always hard to find people that actually want to do it because when they do something people like recognition they like gain from what they what they do right that's right. good I was thinking maybe of coming up with some kind of system that's kind of like that yeah well I mean right now I mean because of right. course no one's gonna want to do it. I mean yeah. there are some people that will do it for you yeah, know for volunteer but and you know what? That's other people we're trying to reach. And maybe we'll touch people's hearts. And maybe we'll get some... Like, I never... I I actually recently started to be like this. I never... Back in the day, I never thought about anybody else. I just thought about myself, <laughs> to be honest with you right. guys. But now, you know, I, I just... I want to do something better, you know? And uh, you know what? You gain... People think that you do something for somebody and you get nothing in return. And I'm telling you, man, that's not true. That's not true. You mm -hmm. do something and you know what? If you expect nothing in return, I know for a fact... You get the greatest feeling ever. Yeah. You might right, not get right. money. You might not get recognition. No one has to know what you're doing. But as long as you know that you really did something for somebody yeah. else out of a good heart, mm -hmm. you're going to get paid in, 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 in an amazing feeling that you can't get anywhere else. Right, so right, right. You'll get compensated, you know? Yeah. And so I think that's really, that to me is, is, is could probably, it's one of the best feelings. You know what I mean? You can have all the money in the world, but if you don't do anything good with it, I mean, what's the point? What's of it? the point, right? You know? Yeah. So, and you know what? Like my boss told me, um, you don't have to have money to do these things. You don't. You can start now, and that's what we're doing. So. Starting now, yeah. Yeah. Although, yeah. No, I'm not gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but we're we'll we'll get it, man. And honestly, I believe that there's people out there that will follow along and maybe at least support the journey, man. You know. That's all we ask for, there. man. Really, it's just yeah. the support. Like, we'll do the rest. Yeah. And. But we would appreciate the help. <laughs> yeah. But you know, like I said, either way, I feel like we're getting, we're getting compensated, man. I already feel good just just talking about it. Just talking about it, right? And so kind of like getting it off the chest. Right. And you know what's pretty amazing that we've had these 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 plans for a while, but now they're coming to life. You know, they're coming to fruition. So it's pretty cool, man. We never really took time to do the action. Yeah. We took time to talk about it. Yeah. But never. Yeah, we but never you know what? We've it. never even like right now. I just know it's more real than ever. Yeah, it's more real than ever. You know, so I don't have any worries. I know for a fact we'll get it done. Yeah, and I'm yeah, hoping we'll that you know you, the viewers, will help us get it done by support. And actually, the way I was thinking is, let us know, man. Let us know who needs help. You know, if you know if you have a grandparent out there that's sick, can't do something for themselves, maybe you're too busy. Let us know. That's all, that's great support. That's a great start. Yeah. I think it's locally awesome as 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 of right now, locally. Right. 
as of I right mean, now, locally. Right now, we can't we can't do that kind of travel. <laughs> yeah, not right now, but one day we will. We'll use our own funds to yeah. to do these things. And uh, like Denzel said, uh, I can't remember the quote too properly, but I know <laughs> he said, man, like one of the greatest things you can do is serving others. Yeah. I'm sure that you guys can come across it if you search up Denzel motivational uh, speeches. Mm-hmm. He talks about it. He says, the greatest thing you can do with your life is to serve. And so I'm really glad that we're able to to start serving. And it's going to be an awesome journey. And we're hoping you guys can be there for it and just see the growth. Because, like I said, this is day one. So it's going to be awesome. You know, we're going to continue to do this. And you're going to see the growth and the changes. With, yeah, uh, with June those. 11th right now, man. June 11th is the start. It's the start, man. It's yeah. the birth. June 11th birth. is the start. Give it, I would say, give it three months. We're going to be... A little bigger than where we are now. Oh, we definitely will. Yeah. We definitely will. My buddy here, actually, this is actually my family. Uh, we're family here. He's my cousin, but cousin. He's, he's like my buddy, man. We're. I'm telling you, I've, I've hung out with a lot of people, and I don't get nothing done. But every time I link with this guy right here, we get stuff Always, done. Always, man. Always. <laughs> we get stuff done, man. So it's pretty cool, you know? And that's another thing. Do, do you remember when it started? Do you remember when you first came over, we just started talking about just getting oh, stuff done? man, dude. Do you that remember was that? when we started with drop shipping. I would say, but yeah, oh. we did start with drop shipping. But do you remember the day we started talking about it? I remember I came in your living room and yeah. I was sitting down on your couch. <laughs> yeah. yeah, wow, man. man, it's actually coming to life, bro. <laughs> we started talking about it then. How long ago do you think that was, man? I know it was at least a year. Cause that was when I'd you were say working it's a with little. Me. Right before you started working with me. No, yeah, you was... were working with me. No, no, it was I came over to your house yeah. and like two weeks later you started working with me. Yeah. Right. Yeah. I think, what was it, man? I, w- I just got back from Montana, right? Yeah. From that, yeah. from the, the prison job. Yeah, dude. Yeah, you were all dressed up. Was I? Think, I? Yeah, you were all dressed up, man. Yeah, because you came by, you were, uh, I think you came straight from church. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, so. I, I think, I, I know I was dressed up. I remember that. I think. I can't remember. Oh, you're I, right. I was wearing a blue shirt with a tie. Was it blue? I, I remember like maroon or purple. You know what? It might have been maroon. Yeah. I have a maroon shirt, too. Yeah. Yeah. I remember that, man. We started talking uh, it then. Yeah, started man. Started talking about it then. And here we are. Yeah, we're really finally like getting vlogging. done. Yeah. We're really doing the vlogging part. Yeah. And this is a very, it's a, it's a key part to this because, like I said, we're trying to reach, you yeah. know, an audience. Yeah. We're trying to reach globally, man, and as much people as we can. Yeah. So, but uh, like I said, man, uh, every time we link, man, we get stuff done, man. Mm-hmm. Really, we really do. So, and that's another part is guys, like, um... It's so important that you find find people you get things done with, right? Yeah. And uh, if they're if they're not adding, or if they're subtract if they're subtracting or taking away from you, um, the best thing to do is just distance yourself from them, because you're not gonna get nothing done. I've I've personally been there. I wasn't getting nothing done. <laughs> yeah. I wasn't getting nothing done, man. I think what would help to get the word out a lot too is I, would, I want to start doing interviews with more people. Yeah. That's you know? actually what I was wanting to bring out, man. Yeah. I wanted to bring that out. It was about you doing, doing interviews, interviews, man. Yeah. So that's a great idea. Because you got this person that lives right here yeah. that does his own band still. Yeah. I was thinking it might be really good to, to do an interview with him one day. Yeah. And you know yeah. what? He's an awesome, awesome person, dude. Like, to be honest with you, he and I know he'll do a great interview, man. He's got a great character, great personality. Yeah. Yeah, man, but that's a really great idea, man, is uh, interviewing people. Interviewing people. Yeah. Just yeah, letting them know we exist. Yeah. And letting people know that they, they exist. exist. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Yeah, I think that'd be great. And we'll be doing that soon. We'll be doing that soon. So. Yeah. Okay, so we we got the com- the Happy Life Solutions that we're going to go ahead and get started on that we've already created a website we just have right. to finalize it yeah we um i want to do the whole t-shirts thing so we can start doing that for charity right and then oh we, that's another thing what you up? just brought out the whole t-shirt thing um when we get this done actually and they're going to be really cool shirts guys but uh another thing is there what he said they're going to be for charity most of the funds are going to charities yeah, uh, we're, yeah. We're, and that's really what was what the about. the percentage that we were talking about the other day um, it was we make ten percent uh, charity, ninety uh, percent goes to charity, yeah, and ten percent of oh no no yes ten percent of what the customer buys goes we have to, to charity work that out, right definitely. yeah we'll, we we'll, know we'll work it out a little bit more. The main thing we really want to do is 
the reason we want to make these shirts is uh you know what would be pretty cool too is if we had like a bunch we had a polls oh yeah votes on what on let's say each month right yeah the people choose what um amount will go or not amount but what will go to charity that month oh yeah like what uh yeah, I get what you're saying. I, I think get what that'd you're saying. Be pretty cool. Yeah. yeah, and that'd be good because that honestly it's we want to give power to the people. I think engagement. Yeah, yeah. And that's a big thing is engaging with uh with our our viewers, our audience, and our supporters. Yeah. So that'd be really cool, and that's something we will do. And also another idea I had for that was maybe whenever they buy a shirt, um, the percentage that's going to charity, um, is gonna go to a charity of their choice. Which I thought was really cool, really awesome. It'd be because they're you know more power to them. So I thought that'd be great. But what, another thing we'd like we'd like to do is is get the people involved, which is also right. having to do with engagement. So we'd like to say, well, you know what, what charities would y'all like to add to this list that we have already? One thing I definitely want to do, because this is how it all started, was uh, mental awareness. Because a lot, like I said, a lot of people struggle with it. Yeah. So that's definitely one charity we want to put down. But we know there's lots of good charities out there. And you know what? One thing we should do is make sure these charities are really doing what they say they're going to do. Mm -hmm. You know? Because uh, who knows? You know, I remember I go to I go shop a lot. And when I'm shopping, I donate my money without even asking questions. And I don't know where my money's going. You know? Oh, like when they ask you? Yeah, know. if I want to donate. And I'm like, yeah, you know, sure. And I give them the money. But I never ask, what, how is this helping? I need to know. I need to start asking, how is this helping? Yeah. How is this helping sense. whatever charity this is going to? And so, you then know, again, I mean, maybe some of those people just work there, and they're just like, "Hey, we have to, <laughs> we yeah. have to ask about this." Yeah, but they should still let us know. I mean, if yeah. they're not informed on it, then they don't even know where the money's going. Yeah, true. And so it's so important that the money gets to where it needs to go. Yeah. Because there's people out here struggling with mental illnesses, with cancer, you know, different things. So we need to make sure this money gets to those people. And, I was uh, also thinking a certain percentage of what people buy. How can I explain it? How, you know what? And there's st there's still a lot we need to work on it. So it's still in development, guys. Yeah. So don't take any of these words to heart. But we are the one thing we're, we've already agreed on is, is and this is a charity yeah, case. That's yeah. what it's about. So this money, most of this money is going to go towards these charities. The rest is just going to be for us to, to get by or yeah. to even put yeah. back into this business. Yeah. But uh, most of the profits are going to charity. We'll we'll release statements on all that stuff. So it's gonna be great stuff. But yeah. 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 But like I said, this is still in development. But um. So, actually, what would be cool is having certain additions that go towards certain charities. There's just so many ways we could do it. Yeah. Really. But but if you if any of the viewers have any ideas, we're open to them. We're open to suggestions, really. Yeah. I mean, any suggestion that we can get out there. Yeah. Um, there was something I was going to mention earlier. Well, in the meantime, I think that, well, what these podcasts and these vlogs that we're going to be doing, it's mostly going to be um, about us trying to promote positive changes. But we're also going to have some other stuff in there. Yeah. We're gonna like my uh, my cousin here. He's gonna do interviews as well. Mm -hmm. It's just gonna be a lot of stuff we're gonna be doing. So it's gonna be really cool. Yeah, because I'm wanting to post everything to YouTube, and I'm wanting to post everything to the actual pad podcast, you know, right. app that I'm doing. Um, right. Although I don't know, the one that I'm using is gonna be getting a big response to anywhere. You know what I mean? I don't know. I gotta do some more research on where I'm gonna be putting those. But for sure, they are gonna be going on YouTube. Right. Um, now that we have video yeah so check us out on youtube yeah what's your youtube 96 jjm yeah. 96 jjm check us out on youtube subscribe yeah subscribe guys yeah it's gonna it'll be, be awesome. down at the bottom <laughs> <laughs> sure. right. yeah. yeah so don't forget to do that yeah and don't forget to follow along and we're gonna try to do these daily um we might get caught up in in our daily affairs but we're gonna try to do these daily as much as possible or maybe we'll even find, we'll set aside some time and get a schedule going. We'll I would say at least two times a week, two, three times a week, we'll do the podcast. And then maybe I would say once a week we do a blog. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Just kind of doing something to help out. 
Yeah. Just of course. Off. Of course. Yeah. Vlogs just once a week, but we're not gonna be recording everything that we do. Right. Right. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but we're gonna get a set schedule for all that. We will, and we'll we'll get more persistent because uh, I'm sure that. Uh, along the way, a lot of people are going to like this stuff. They're going yeah, yeah, to want us to keep doing this. Yeah, and definitely. It's going to be more demand for it. So, hopefully we'll be able to get that going. But, yeah. yeah. So far, we've gone about 30 minutes, I would say. So, what all have we talked about? We, we brought about the t-shirts. Um, if we miss anything, we'll definitely talk about it on the next vlog or yeah. the next podcast. We'll so go and listen to this we and talked about out. the Happy Life Solutions, the local Happy Life Solutions around in our area to kind of help people out. Um, well, that's more of a business thing, remember? Right, yeah. Yeah, that's true. It's more business, but it's still going to be helping people. You know right, what I mean? Right. <laughs> They're asking for the service. <laughs> yeah. So if you guys want our service too, let us know. <laughs> yeah, so we are doing the uh, the charity work. The, we talked about the charity work. Yeah, for the shirts and stuff talked about the shirts we talked about doing blogs vlogs we right. talked about doing the podcast um interviews interviews yeah what's another oh music oh yeah we're gonna try to get into some music too yeah it's <laughs> gonna be really awesome yeah we're trying to get into that for sure we will get into the music we will yeah we will get into the music and we will we will succeed, yeah so. we will get into some music um we're actually gonna go today and look at some stuff what was the place called? Tar please, but it's closed. It's closed yeah, right now? I, I, I searched it up earlier. I really oh, wanted to go, man. man. I, we saw this awesome video on YouTube, and this dude was using his auto-tune, and it was really cool. <laughs> man, what time do they usually close? I'm not even sure, man. It was like five, six o'clock when I checked. Six o'clock? Like closed. I think it's like four o'clock. What, four or five o'clock. Hmm. But we'll definitely check that out soon. Plus, like I said, um, my son's going to be going on a vacation for a good week. Like Thursday or Friday, so yeah. we'll have plenty of time. And I was thinking, if we if we do get that this week, dude, we should hit it hard, man. Hit it hard, dude. While I have the free time. Yeah. But. Definitely. Yeah. So. On another subject, I was talking to I was just talking to my mom about this, dude. I, a couple of days ago, I met this guy, right? And mm -hmm. he looks just like one of my buddies, right? And and at first I thought it was really cool, you know, because when you have a, I don't know if you, I'm sure you've had a, a buddy from the past that you missed a lot. Right, yeah. And like, well, I basically ran into this guy and it reminded me of my buddy. He looked just like him, dude. Dressed like him, had mm -hmm. the same hair, everything to the T. Almost has the same name. My buddy's name's Josh. Yeah. Right? Which is crazy because you're yeah. my cousin. His <laughs> name's Josh, too. But right. my buddy's name's Josh, man. And uh, I really miss that guy, to be honest. Josh, if you see this, man, I love you, bro. <laughs> but no, okay, well, check it out. So I run into this guy. It looks just like him, dude. Acts like him, everything. Yeah, really? And uh, I was telling my mom about it, and then I started thinking. I was like, well, when I met this dude, I thought it was really awesome. I was like, dude, I, it's like my friend's back, you know? Like, he's back in my life. It's cool. I have my, my buddy back, you know? But then I thought about it, and uh, I don't know if that's a good thing, man, because he's just like him. And my buddy right now, unfortunately, he's in jail. Josh? For some serious stuff, yeah. Like, for what did he do? For that one thing. I don't remember. That one thing with Brian. Ah, <laughs> I remember so, that now. <laughs> he ended up going to jail, man, and he's, he's yeah. facing some serious charges. And, um, well, I met this guy, and I was like, man, this is awesome. But I just found, like, when he was walking away, I was like, dude, I'm reliving my past. And it was freaking insane. You know, it was insane, man. It was really insane. I was like, right. dude, I can't let this happen. So I'm glad that I caught it before I took it any further. Yeah. But I'm telling you, dude, this guy was just like him, dude. It was crazy. And so just seeing him kind of made you... Like, just, I wanted to hang out with him, yeah. you know? Because it was like hanging out with my buddy. Yeah. But then I thought about it, and I was like, bro, this is going to lead you... Like, I, if, if anything, I escaped that lifestyle. Right, These right. guys are in jail now. And I'm, I'm not saying I'm completely out the woods. Because I can still get in trouble and, you know, go to jail right. or whatever. And I don't want yeah, that. Yeah, but you, you know? can you, you can resist it yeah, right yeah. now. We're here trying to do positive things. You know? <laughs> That's why we're here, you know. Yeah. So I'm glad I did that. But it was crazy because I found myself living in the past again. It was really crazy, dude. It was like. How long ago was this? This was like a few weeks ago. A few weeks ago, really? Le legit a few weeks ago. And uh, he has the same name as my buddy and everything. Josh. That's, That's crazy, crazy huh? yeah. 
Yeah, man. And I and you know what? I have another another guy. I'm not gonna put his name out there, but and he reminds me of my other buddy, Brian. And I, and so it's like I had my my old buddies again right there in front of me. Both of them. We we're all hanging out. And I was like, wow, dude. And at first it was really cool. And then I started seeing it. I was like, bro. Like this is a. I must be like. I don't know, man. That was like a paradigm shift trying to catch mm -hmm. me back, pull me back into that, dude. Because right. it's really crazy. And you know what? They li they both both of these guys live the same lifestyles as as my old buddies. You know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's crazy. But you know what? The thing about my buddy Josh, man, I I really think he just got caught up in that. You know what I mean? Just, you just know what's hanging crazy? out with the wrong people, man. Yeah. That's just what Say it that is. Say that again. What was that? Hanging out with the wrong people. Hanging out with the wrong people, man, will get you in trouble, man. And and it could be something. You know what I mean? Like you might think you're just gonna take some guy to go do something, man. And next thing you know, you lost your whole life. Now, was he one to do drugs and so? Dude, you know what's awesome about it? It's not awesome. It's I didn't mean it like that, guys. But <laughs> the thing is, is look, this guy moved out of town, man, and changed his life. Right. Changed, changed his, his life, life how? Stopped doing drugs, man. Stopped, started living good. Okay. Even started looking better, man. T t started taking care of himself, you know. Got off all the bad stuff. Stopped hanging around with bad people. But he came back to town for a little bit. I'm not sure. I'm not going to say his whole story. I don't know. But he started hanging out with... With, with that right, guy right, again. right. And next thing you know, he got in trouble, and got caught up with him. You know, just for being in the same car, or driving the car, or whatever the story is. Yeah. Only they know. I hope he didn't do nothing wrong, but you know. He was pretty so, much only the driver, right? Yeah. Yeah. Because he knew what yeah. he knew the streets. Yeah. That's well. That's how the story goes, anyway. That's their story. There's no telling what the real story is. So I won't. I don't like. To, yeah. I'm not gonna talk about it on too much. But I just know that he was there and he was doing really good. And as soon as he came back and started hanging out with this guy again, now he could be facing life sentence. So, it's pretty much a life sentence, man. Yeah. It's like what He's over it. over He's two million it. a bond. Yeah. <laughs> My God, man. It's two unfortunate, man. Dollars. It's unfortunate. But I'm really glad I caught myself before I really got too deep in that. And uh, I'm glad you kind of got out of it, man. Cause yeah, and it's crazy because I'm like, out of all my buddies, man, I'm the only one that's still here. You know what I mean? And um. I honestly could probably it's say, just, I think it's it, God's doing. Really. Yeah. God saved me from that. It's because you, you take the time to actually try and better yourself yeah, rather yeah. than these other people yeah. where they just don't see a way out. Yeah. Where you had that, that you had people there to tell you yeah. that there is a way out. Yeah. And you had that guidance and you kept going with it. And I kept trying, man. That's one thing, dude. Like, I'm not completely out the woods, dude, but I kept trying and trying and trying. I mean, and I did fail and I want people to know that. Uh, if you're in that position where like you know you're not you're not necessarily making the best decisions in life I but maybe you keep trying right and this is so important that's why I'm talking about it yeah it's and maybe you keep trying and trying and I know there's gonna be people that tell you that you're a mess up you're a fuck up you know that's what people are gonna tell you that you although know? I think that when you do get told that you're a fuck up I think it's gonna help you because well it, it's gonna hurt and help you you know what i'm saying but it also depends on the person man that's I mean, true yeah that some is person true. can go and kill themselves yeah no you're and that's right that's not cool and that's not cool and that's exactly what we're Don't trying to stand yourself. up for <laughs> we're trying to stand up for this man and that's why you know i'm glad that i was able to bring this up because it's so important and if you're one of those people out there and you're struggling before we close this out yeah. i'd like to talk about this uh, if you're struggling and, and you're trying your best to quit doing something that you know is wrong or you just don't feel right doing it, um, and, and you know, this is people that are going to call you a fuck up. And it's weird because when you start trying to change, that's when people tell you that you're a fuck up. No one's telling you nothing while you're doing bad. No one told me nothing. I was out there doing all kinds of stuff and no one told me a thing, you know, mm -hmm. no one told me a thing. But when I started trying to change, now people were like, oh, you're a fuck up. You, you know, I'm like, what the hell? I'm trying to better me, and now you're going to tell me this stuff? So it really hurt, and it cut deep. But luckily, God gifted me with uh, good friends, too, but also a strong mind that yeah. wouldn't let me give up. And there's a lot of times that I wanted to do a lot of different things. I wanted to hurt myself at times. I also wanted to just do bad things because I wanted to not care because I was just hurt, and I just wanted to feel, be numb, yeah. you know? And so if you're one of those people out there, just don't give up, man. Just don't give up. A female, male, don't matter if you're a boy or girl, man, woman. If you're a little kid, too. If you're a kid, you're, man. You're like 12 years old. Yeah, it doesn't matter, I'm man. To it. Don't give up. Keep trying. And you know what? And it's not going to happen overnight, like my boss told me. Just little changes. You know, start with little things. And uh, just keep trying, man. And one day you'll get out of that. And if not, maybe you'll at least save yourself from a life sentence, you know? 
Because so far, I, I avoided that. And I could have been with them. Those were my buddies, man. I used to roll with them. It, it, it's something as simple as I just went with them for the ride. And you know what? I could have yeah. lost my whole life. Yeah. yeah. Can you believe that? That's crazy. Yeah. yeah, so. How's it going, man? Pretty good, man. How you doing? Shooting a bit. Yeah, yep. something like that. Sure. Yeah, man. Yeah, definitely, man. Heck yeah. Hey, man, Uh, you do music, right? You do music? Yeah. Man, maybe sometime we could get together and, and do something, man. Yeah? Yeah, man, I, I was actually wanting to... Oh, really? Cool. Cool. Sweet. Yeah, I was telling him right now, man, I was like, yeah, my neighbors, they, they do music, man. So, we, it'd be great, man. Maybe we can link up and do that. Yeah. All right, man. Sweet, bro. We'll see you around, okay. man. Yeah, definitely, bro. That's cool, man. That's yeah. cool. Yeah, already got so the good. the approval there, yeah. We got the yes. Yeah. So, hey, where was y'all show at, man? Oh, uh, where's that at? Oh, by Giz and Homes, kinda. Yeah. Okay. Oh man. Wow. Okay. Awesome, man. Cool. When is y'all's next show? Do you know? Oh, okay, sweet. All right, man, sweet. Hey, let me know what's up with that. Uh, your soundtrack. You guys got you. You got a soundtrack. I'm um, Christian, and this is my cousin Josh. Josh, yeah. Jared. All right, man. Jared. Okay. Yes, sir. Like, nice to meet you, man. Yeah, we'll link up, All man. Right. Yeah, sweet. Man. Yeah. So more things just falling in place, man. You know, and that's just proof right there. We're doing the right thing. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? So we're yeah. going to keep doing this, obviously. We're going to keep doing yeah. this. But um, as I was saying before, sorry if I got sidetracked, man. It's so important, man. Don't give up. If you're out there, man, and you're hearing this. Do you see how that just happened? If you're hearing this, did you see how that just happened? Or you heard it? Yeah, you heard, heard this it, happen, yeah. That, that's proof, man. Good things happen, man. You just, you just follow your dreams, man. And uh, follow your dreams, man. And uh, Support, man. It's... Yeah, man. And you know what? You'll find the right people. It's just, they come across you, man. It's pretty crazy. So just do the right thing. Keep trying. Like I was telling you, man, uh, I was caught up in all kinds of things, man. Maybe on another vlog or podcast, we can discuss some of these things. But, yeah, uh, we can probably start discussing the next vlog podcast yeah. or vlog yeah. if you want to. Yeah. and uh, I would say vlogs, we kind of keep it more, I don't know, just more random kind of, you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I well, think that'd I mean, be pretty we, cool. We, I mean, it's a good idea. Like, people do different vlogs, man. I, I, that's what I was thinking. I was like, man, remember I was trying to tell you? Mm -hmm. I was like, man, we don't have to, like, because I was thinking, there's a, you know, everybody knows Logan Paul. Yeah. And I'm not trying to name drop or nothing. <laughs> yeah. But everyone knows <laughs> Logan Paul. And uh, and I, I like Logan Paul personally. I think he's in. What's awesome. the brother's name? Jake Paul. Jake Paul? I think I like Jake Paul. You like Jake Paul? Yeah. I, like I don't Logan. know. I like, I just, his personality got, kind of got to me a little bit more. Jake? Yeah. Really? Yeah. I don't oh, know what it was, man. Logan's the one out here doing awesome things for people now. Is He's it? actually changed his ways, man. So I, it, but another, like I really like Logan a lot. I'm a, I'm a, I'm, I'm part of the low gang. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> I'm not part of low gang or nothing. What's it called? Huh, low is, gang. Is that what it's called? <laughs> low gang, yeah. Or a Maverick. Be a Maverick. But be no, that's Maverick. all Logan's stuff. That's all his brand. That's all right. his stuff. So that's all. That's all to him. All, all that's his stuff. But right, right. Um, yeah, man. And I, you know, I was thinking. I was like, man, I, I feel like I had to be like him. I feel like I had to be like him, but I realized, you know, there's different kinds of vlogs, man. There's all kinds of different vlogs. And I think our vlogs that we're doing is going to be awesome, man. I honestly think it'd probably even be better than his vlogs because of the fact we're doing positive things, man, and, and for, for others. And we're just trying to we're trying to spark a movement of positivity and change, yeah. man. So, you know, yeah, I think it's going to be really cool. But um, like I said, man, um, there's a lot of bad things I've done in my past, but I kept trying, kept trying, kept trying. And you know what? It's proof right here if you guys heard that it just things fall in place man so oh and find you someone that um doesn't take away or subtract from you um if you can't work with, together with someone else and get things done then find someone who you can do that with and there's someone out there man if not then go make friends man and yeah you know, there's there. there's always going to be someone that's that wants to do what you do yeah. you know yeah. what i mean exactly. they just don't have that that will to actually just go out and do it right you know what i mean and if you team up yeah. put you guys brains together put y'all strength together and y'all get things done and and you know you'll change your life and you'll be happy man and it's unfortunate that we can't reach everybody and change everybody's lives you know i'm, I'm talking about I mean, 
like me, I can't, I couldn't change my friends, you know. They're yeah. out, they're in jail right now. I couldn't stop it, you know. I couldn't change them, but uh, maybe there's someone out there that you can reach. Mm -hmm. And so that's what this is about, really. And so, you know, like I said, we're just gonna be bringing lots of positivity, lots of good energy, and <laughs> that's really the, that's what these vlogs and podcasts are gonna be about. And hopefully, we get a chance to schedule these guys right over here now, man. Yeah. Jared. Yeah, yeah. Matter of fact, What's his name again? Jared. You said Jared? Yeah. I, I could have sworn you were saying Jared. Nah, Jared. Yeah, I, I know him because I talked to Julian. Julian's oh, the other guy. Oh, I see. Jared. Oh, Jared. yeah, I was wondering because he asked your name and I was like, I thought you talked to this yeah. guy before. Yeah, because it's, it's a whole band that lives there. Oh, Jared, I see. oh a whole band that lives there. Yeah. And um, Keanu. Keanu. I always remember people's names, man. It's so important. Yeah. I'm, it shows a lot about you. I would you. say I'm better with faces than I am with names. Hey, man, like, like uh, if anybody knows Jim Quick, check him out, man. Great guy. He's on YouTube also. These are a lot of my inspirations, man. Jim Quick, uh, Denzel. Uh, who's another guy out there? Will Smith. Will Smith, man. He's, Will he's Smith. a real good one, man. I like Will Smith. Will Smith taught me something awesome about failure. Fell, fall forward or fell forward? Fell forward, I think, is what he said. But um, Jim Quick, man, he said... Uh, He's like, it's crazy because you know that girl that you really like? Mm -hmm. He's like, and I'm not I'm not saying this against you. I'm just saying. This, this right, is right, right. Up. But uh, he's like, you will remember her name. <laughs> and this is what changed my my life. Well, not my life. But it did change my life because it plays a big part. And I've honestly right, take right. the time to remember a lot of people's names now. Because, you know, a lot of people, they're important, man. Like, everybody is a human. So. Go ahead and say the motivation, man. Because I want to I wanna know what, it, what he said. Oh, yeah, that was it, man. That's what he said. That was it. Yeah, that's what he, <laughs> he said. He didn't have anything like after that. Uh, no, nah, he just said, man. Uh, he's like, you'll know. He he was really just the reason it was motivational to me was because he taught me something. What did you? He just taught me like it's weird because like when it's someone I really want to know, I, I remember their name. Yeah, that's true. But other people, we won't remember their name, you know. And it, it's it's, you know what I mean. So what it, what he said is, uh, just take the time to. And you said you're good with faces. And yeah. He said something about that. He said, uh. Do whatever you have to, like, like he said something about, cause he's really good with memory, and he was saying that uh, he would link them up with something, like a, uh, um, say somebody's name like Jackie or something, and he would yeah. he would mix it with something, that way he could remember, like, oh, that's Jackie, 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 something, something. like Malaki or something, yeah, like that, yeah, yeah, like yeah that. something like that. So that's what I did earlier today, but not with anybody's name, but just the name of a product. Oh, okay. Um, what was the name of the product? It was uh. A shamog, a shamog, yeah. I don't know what that a is. Shemog, yeah. Shem, shem, yeah, shamog. I think it's what it's called. Because uh, I was thinking of shimad, like shimad. <laughs> <laughs> so I was it. like shim, shamog. Yeah, it's so it's a big old. It's kind of like a a bandana kind of, but it's or it's a scarf. It's oh, it's a okay. scarf basically, but it's real big, man. It's one of those desert scars that they use. Oh yeah. I would. Okay. I wouldn't. I guess Middle in the East. military, but yeah, Middle East Middle kind East, of. Yeah. yeah, it's really cool. I like. It. I just got it in today. <laughs> oh, you bought one? Yeah, I got oh, okay. one. Shamog. What does it do? Keep you cool or what? I think it's supposed to like like an insulator kind of thing where you don't lose heat. You don't. Uh, it's not good for winter though, but it's supposed to keep like it's more for like dust storms. So it's like oh. you know for the desert. Yeah, okay. You know what I mean? You put just wrap it around your face or okay. use it as a scarf so you don't burn up or something. Right. Yeah. I see. I wouldn't say use it for winter, but use it more yeah. for like summer, you know? Yeah. Like when though. we were working out here <laughs> in the yard. Oh, yeah. We could've used, I could have used it like as a hoodie or something. Oh, okay. I see what you're saying. So it kind of protects you from the sun too. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I got a black one though. <laughs> I don't know how <laughs> well that'll work. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Wow. Oh, that's funny though. Yeah. Well, I hope it works out, man. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I don't know when to wear it, though. You know what I mean? <laughs> I was thinking about wearing it over here, but I was like, oh, that's man. weird. <laughs> Stylish, man. Stylish, Stylish. yeah. But it's like, I think that's kind of weird just wearing it, though. Yeah. I don't know. I bought it. I got to wear it, though. <laughs> yeah. Shoot, let me borrow it, man. I might need it for a photo shoot one day. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, it looks nice, man. It's, really? it's all black, just pure black. But yeah. it's got the little... um. Like all on the the border on the you know of the like what's it called scarf, it's got little t knots like ties, you know what I mean all around it. Oh okay. So it's I don't know I'll how. I probably have to see it. I definitely yeah. have to see it. But I, I get what you're saying. It has picture. like the pattern on it. Yeah. The way they uh, knitted it. Or whatever. Yeah yeah. Yeah I see what you're saying. It's yeah. got little knots on the edges. Oh, that's 
pretty cool. Well, yeah. shit, man. What do you think? I'm ready, dude. Yeah? I'm ready. Sweet, man. So am I, man. I think yeah. that it's pretty awesome. So I bought a mic, too, right? The only thing with that is that it doesn't work with Audacity. Oh. <laughs> uh, yeah. What kind of mic did you buy? It's, um... It's like an ARNT Audio Tonic or something like that. What was Tectonic. your purpose for it? Voiceovers. Voiceovers oh, okay. are. Oh, yeah, um, yeah, I remember you wanted to do that. Yeah, yeah. Voiceovers. Um, that might be something else we can add to our to our arsenal. We might end up having voiceovers. Yeah, that's so. something I want to do too. Yeah. I still need to contact that school about that acting too. I was gonna ask you about that, man. Yeah. My buddy messaged me back. I haven't replied. But another thing, man, I really want to go to Cali, man. Yeah. I really, really do. I really do. And, I, uh, yeah, I, I, it's gonna be. I think it's gonna be pretty cool. Now, is he in Cali right now? Yeah, he's in Cali, man. Yeah. He's, he lives in Pasadena, but he's always in Los Angeles, man. And he, like I said, he's doing a lot of acting, so it's pretty cool. But there's a lot of things to do over there. I just, I didn't buy the book, but there's a book, man, that says something about how to live in L.A. as an, or not as an actor, but how to live in L.A. pretty much. You know, and then I was about to buy it, dude. Like, I was Will like, I, well, I forgot L.A. was oh. in California. Oh. <laughs> and so I was like, nah, I don't need that book. And so I bought two other books, about one about acting, one about voiceovers. But I totally forgot about that California yeah, thing. How to live in L.A.? That sounds like what we need, man. Pretty much, like, how to live in Hollywood or something like that. You and know you what know I mean? what's crazy? When I went to Cali with my dad, bro, um... There's a bunch of people. I'm sure that if whoever, if some person in Los Angeles ends up watching this, they'll know what I'm talking about. On, I think it's Hollywood Boulevard. There's a bunch of like museums, right? Wax museums yeah. and stuff. Wherever that's at, I'm not too sure. I don't remember, but dude, there's a bunch of people that dress up as Spider-Man, dude, and, and they charge to take pictures and they get money, dude. They they make good money out there. Mm. And all they do is dress up. They put costumes on all day, and that's what they, they gotta do. have that that good costume though, right? Nah, dude, they just dressed yeah. up. Yeah, legit. In LA? Yeah. Over there on Hollywood Boulevard. I, I think it's Hollywood Boulevard. If you hear this and you're from Cali and I sound like a dumbass, I apologize. <laughs> <laughs> but really, man, uh, wherever that street is, man, it's a really popular street. And there's a lot of traffic through there. There's a lot of museums, whatever that place is, man. Um, on the sidewalks, there's a bunch of people dressed up, man. And, and that's what they do. And that's how they make money. I didn't know that was in L.A. Yeah. I was always thinking like Las Vegas. I'm sure they oh. do it there, too, though, right? I haven't been to Las Vegas, but I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. I know people dressed up like Elvis. Have you been to LA? Oh uh, yeah, that's where I've been. Really? That's where I've been. Yeah. I wasn't there for a long time, but we spent the day there because uh, my dad took us for a little vacation. We stayed in Newport, but uh, Cal or LA is about I don't remember oh, if it was 15 or 45 minutes away, but it's somewhere no longer than that from Newport uh -huh. where we stayed at. But yeah, dude, I saw a lot of, and that's what people were doing. It's just out there taking pictures man with, with people and uh, the thing is there's a lot of tourists over there so that's how they were making money oh yeah so that the reason I brought that up is because that book reminded me how to live in LA I was like dude we could easily just go put some costumes on and make money out there <laughs> like that but, yeah good but you know hopefully something great comes along or you know what maybe we might have to go out there and find it but I really like to go to, to LA man that's where all our dreams will come true I was listening to a song today he said the west is where everybody gets rich yeah yeah it's an easy song. So, yeah, dude, that's really where dreams happen. So, it's where ideas come to life. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yup. Couldn't have said it better, man. So, who knows, man? We might take this whole thing to LA and switch up, switch up on, switch up on all our viewers, man. Have to do it. You know what I mean? Next thing you know, we're in LA, man. I wouldn't say really switch up on the viewers, but I would say it, it would switch up on the business a lot. Yeah. Well, that's what I meant. Like, yeah. we're going to throw a spin on our viewers hardcore. Like, dang, <laughs> yeah. these guys ended up in L.A. Well, yeah. I'll tell you what, man. <laughs> dreams come true. Yeah. You know what right? I mean? Right. That's true, man. <laughs> dreams it's come like, true, man. So we that's, might end that's up what in LA. We're, That's where we're headed. <laughs> you know? So. Give us about three months, Shoot. I would say. Who knows, dude? Who really knows? Like, you never know. Yeah. I mean, like I said, man, by the time I'm 24, I'm going to have it. I'm 22 right now. Yeah. Yeah, dude. Well, we're definitely working. I got two it. years. I, I got one year. Yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> I'm going to be 23. <laughs> hey, you might blow up, man, on accident. You know? It's not going to be an accident. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be planned out. Yeah. I got it, man. Yeah. Well, I might blow up on accident. 
or I might blow up on purpose. Who knows? I know I'm, I'm trying to blow up on purpose with the music career. Yeah. Um, <coughs> that's a whole different topic, but I'm trying to blow up with the music career. But uh, whatever it may be, or acting, man. I've always wanted to do acting. Really, you know what? I, I wouldn't say music or acting, entertainment, showbiz. Yeah. Or business in general. Business, really. That's really what I want, man. And so, who knows, man? Those are those are all dreams, man. We'll see which ones come true. You know what I mean? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, yeah. But Cali, man, that's the goal. We got this, man. Yeah. We'll get it. Ready to close out or what? Yeah. Yeah? You ready? Yeah, man. Well, you guys don't forget to subscribe, man. What was it again? It was 96JJM. 96JJM, man. Don't forget to that's subscribe. That's every platform that's out there right now. It's 96JJM. It's not 96 Jim. <laughs> it's yeah. JJM. JJM. Don't yeah. forget. Subscribe. Follow JJ along JM. on the journey, man. And I guess for right now, until we actually create something for it, yeah. everything. Yeah. But as of right now, yeah, 96 JJM. In the meantime, and you guys are just going to have to switch over. Yep. So. Closing out me, here, though. Make it worthwhile. But, like I said, we'd like to go out with one positive message, man. You have anything to say? Positive message? I can say just don't give up on what you're trying to get. Yeah, man. I mean, awesome. you got to start somewhere. Yeah. Even if you've been talking about it for this long, Yeah. you know, it's always good just to start work, like, now. Yeah. Don't wait on it. Yeah, yeah, you're right, man. That's what my, what my cousin said. Start now. Use what you do have. And yeah. trust me, there's a lot of things out there. And within time, we'll talk about some things that you can use, man. But there's a lot of things out there you would be surprised. You'd be really, very like I would say right now, if you're actually trying to start your own podcast as well, you don't really need a fancy camera. Yeah. We got a camera that's it's called a handy cam, <laughs> and it's I mean it's HD. It's it's okay, but I also bought a whole bunch of mics, and that didn't work. You know what I mean? I'm using one right now that seems to be working fine right now. I'll find out later. Um, you, I, w- I would say you really just need maybe two phones don't have to be expensive and just one mic this one that i have on right now is like a 60 dollar mic and i'm gonna find out here pretty soon how good the the sound quality is right. from my cousin being this far away hopefully it works guys because yeah. if not then all this was for nothing <laughs> <laughs> and we, we, we touched it's it, not gonna man. be for nothing i'm gonna post it either way okay yeah, i'm so gonna have to put some edits in there Right. To say, you know, you know, technical qualities, <laughs> you know. Yeah, hopefully that doesn't happen, guys. But, but yeah, what we, we got? So this is gonna be on the podcast itself. There's gonna be skips in between it because when I unplug my, when I unplug the mic, yeah, it actually stops the recording a little bit. Okay. Well, also I have a recording right here too. You're gonna have to send me that. Yeah, I'll, right. I'll send it to you. And uh, so maybe that's something you can do for the viewers, man. Um, uh, maybe you can share with them a review on these mics. That way, maybe they're trying to do what we're trying to do. Mm-hmm. And uh, maybe you can save them some money, man. I mean, it's unfortunate that that happened. but Yeah. I mean, since it takes batteries, I think it just needs a different battery. Oh, uh, okay. Than the one that it has in uh, right now. yeah. I don't know how long the battery's been sitting with it. You know what I mean? Right. So, I, I don't know. I'm just going to have to work around to test, test them out again. Yeah. Yeah, but other than that, man, what do you got any positive, any last positive words? Um, just keep dreaming. Just keep, keep dreaming, dreaming, man. You never know how far you might get dreaming, man. And never give up on those dreams. Yeah. yeah. I've been wanting to start these podcasts for a while and just slowly been building up the equipment to get it. And now I've actually... And I'm a witness to this. He really has the full kit. And it's pretty mm-hmm. amazing, to be honest with you. So I started off with one of my old phones just recording my voice. And now I have an actual mic. I got a camera. I got a tripod yeah. that this camera is standing on right now. Yeah. Um, I got a pretty good phone. <laughs> yeah. And just I slowly just was building up to it. Right now I don't have too many podcasts out, but I do have some on my channel um, that I just recorded from my phone. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So Better I guess than that. We're ready to close out. Just ready so to close out. Two positive messages. What was your message again? Just to keep, don't give up. Don't That's give all up. it was. Just don't Just give up. Just keep dreaming. Both mean yeah. the same thing, but we said it in different yeah. words. <laughs> yep. So we're going to close out, guys. All right. That's it. Appreciate you guys very much. Later.